Rightio, this is day one of our 2018 raw trip. Um, just boosted it over to the west coast after work. It's pretty bloody late now, it's about midnight. And uh, yeah, we're just staying at a batch. Um, cheers, Lockie, it's bloody awesome. And uh, yeah, tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, we're on the chopper and heading deep into the main divide. So it's going to be awesome, but uh, the weather looks a bit suspect. We've got about yeah, 10 days in Norwest, so yeah, could be interesting. But uh, yeah, we've got about 12 days up our sleeve, so we'll see how we go. Should be good. Yeah, so we hadn't long set the tents up and um, we spied a chamois up on the ridge line just above camp and um, got the spot on it and it looked like a decent buck so I bloody shot up there as fast as I could because it just disappeared over the ridge line and um, got up there and I uh, couldn't see it and where it sort of popped down into is, is pretty bloody claggy so um, yeah it could be anywhere but um, I'm going to make an afternoon out of hunting around this side since I'm already over here so I'm just just roaring down into each of these wee guts and basins and yeah we'll see what happens and hopefully I might bump into that shimmy later on so we'll see how we go Just spied Greg and Lance across the valley uh, a fair way away So we've been looking at the shamu for probably an hour now. I'm pretty sure it's a buck. Yeah, so we've given him a good assessment. He looks old, good bit of age to him. I think he's going to be at least nine inches. So I think we're going to give him one. And uh, see how we go, it's about 280 metres. So. Rightio, so I've snuck about 50 metres closer to him. Just to try and get a better, better look, but still not convinced he's a shooter. He just hasn't got the the hook. So I think we'll let him go. But uh, yeah, it's cool to see anyway. Day three now. Woke up this morning and it's bloody clagged in. We thought it was going to clear, so we um, dropped down to try and blast this um, big tussock terrace, but uh, it never did. So we've come back to camp, had a big feed. Still clagged in, so we're just going to pack up camp and move along the ridge. Um, and uh, yeah, see how it goes over there. Good. 
go, just go. Nah, we've got to stick together. Otherwise we'll get lost. Oh, there's a shammy. Fuck. Ski down, not. Oh, just about to leave, and the shammy's just popped up in the gloom. So, it's creeping. It's seen us, so, might be legit. So, we're just about to leave. Um, leave the campsite, and these two shammy popped up on the ridge line. They're not too sure what we're up to. I think it's just a nanny and a yearling. But, uh, yeah. On the journey away From the pale and downtrodden so It's got mum and a yearling here. They say which we won't Bloody understand. whistling away at us. But it's got cool to see. Don't What's happening is just a case of all the suffering. Oh, you'll find that you're joining in the turning away. It's a sin that somehow light is changing to shadow and casting its shroud over. So uh, we're just going to drop right down into this um, into this valley today, and uh, yeah, see if we can find some deer down there. But um, I'm sure if not, there'll be some shammy to have a look at. So we'll see how we go. I'll show you the rock walls we had to make yesterday to survive from the wind. We took an absolute beating being in the saddle. country down this valley but we haven't even seen a single animal this morning so don't know what the hell's going on keep looking see how we go That's a hut we got to pass on the way out. 
down there. So it'll probably be a few days away. But yeah, we're thinking what is gap it back to the tents, pack them up, and mish it down into the river and just try and start another hut tonight because I think the weather's supposed to turn shitty again tomorrow so yeah Rightio, we're, we're all packed up, ready to go. Um, just going to get out of the saddle. One, because there's no bloody animals around here. And two, there's another big Norwest system supposed to hit tomorrow, so it'd be good to get off the tops before that comes. So, um, yeah, we're going up that ridge there, across the tops a bit, and then down a ridge line on the other side, down into the river. Along the river to the hut. Too easy. Bloody river. Get up through this shit. Right, it's day six. Um, made it to the hut last night. It was all cool. Um, I think tonight we're going to get about 60 mil of rain, so we're just going to probably stay here tonight and then um, hopefully mish it back onto the tops tomorrow morning. And hopefully see a deer. So we're just going to go and um, hunt the river today, go pick up some more food from the food stash up on uh, the saddle, and uh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Yesterday, so we stayed another day in the hut, and uh, now we're about to boost it straight up behind the hut to the tops and um, spend a few more days up there. Hopefully, so we'll see how that goes. It's on our way back up to the tops, just gotten out of the monkey scrub now, just getting through it now. So it's been, been pretty tough, but about 
about halfway, so really good. Boys doing well. Yeah, so we just made it back up on top and um, just got the tent set up where we thought it was a pretty good sort of location and um, yeah, we got whacked by another big weather system. Just came out of nowhere and just dumped a heap of rain and wind on us, so um, yeah, that was pretty testing times. Um, but uh, yeah, we made it through that and uh, yeah, all was well. It's the morning of day 10 now. Um, it's probably going to be our last morning on the tops. I've just mushed it up onto the top here on top of Mount Dixon. Um, the weather's supposed to close in this afternoon, so that's what all this cloud is. Just the start of the northwest front coming in again. It's pretty much been northwest for the last 10 days that we've been up here just keeps coming and going and just bringing all this clag in with it but uh, anyway it's all good so this is where we started over here at the head of Graff Creek that was our first campsite on that saddle there and then we climbed up along that ridge there all along there and um, dropped down into this saddle here just at the base of um, Mount Elizabeth and to the left and at the head of the Waikiti River which is just through that saddle there and then uh, hunted all around there hunted around Mount Elizabeth there climbed over that and looked down into the, the basin going down into the Haupuri which is just over here so how through there 
and then we drop down off those tops there down into the Trent River here and then pretty much almost directly below me here is a top Trent hut we um, waited out a big storm in there got well over 100 mil of rain overnight and whatnot so it was all good and then we boosted up out of the Trent this morning well not this morning, the other morning onto these tops and uh, buddy set up camp down here by these tarns and uh, came along set the tents up and we got whacked by another big storm and uh, yeah survived that one as well and then yeah I've been hunting down into the Terramacau River the last few days down into these basins that was Yeo Creek and then had a big night last night we went all the way over to this far ridge here we finally got a stag making a bit of noise but he wasn't that excited we didn't even get to see him, so that was the closest we've come to seeing a deer so far. Seen a few chamois, and then uh, yeah, I was going to try and hunt down into Dixon Creek this morning, but uh, she's already pretty clagged. Got a bit of a view, but uh, yeah, so that's where we are here. And um, yeah, it's, I suppose the Hiranui down there, straight through there. So yeah, all good. But um, we'll probably have a good, I'd say it'd be eight or nine hours to get back down to the truck through the Howberry today but uh, we might even break it up and do it in two days see how we feel it looks like old salty down here just got up yeah he's seen us So no, it's been awesome. I loved it. The boys have done bloody well. It's been pretty, pretty testing trip. Not even seen a deer. So out of all of this country, it's a bit bloody sad. But anyway, they're probably probably more down in the bush anyway. But um, nothing's poking their heads out. So yeah, weather's been bloody tough. About as shit as you'll get, really. And uh, yeah, just this clag. It's just been thorn in our side the whole time. See, so it's just gonna swallow us soon. But uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome country. It's been worth it just for that, really. See old Mount Wallace in there in the background towards Arthur's Pass.
Auto Moth Tops. And uh, yeah, the weather's closing in as predicted. It's starting to rain, so pretty good timing, really. We made it off the pond in the clag, which is yeah, a bit of navigating, but wasn't too bad. Can't see shit. That's looking down into the How Perry down there. So that's where we're off to. And that's down the Trent River there. So, heading straight into the northwest now. So, we'll get going. about the last obstacle in the trip out was the river crossing by the hot pool by the hot spring so uh, we managed to beat the rain and get across that and uh, should be plain sailing out to the truck touch wood What a battle, challenging trip. It's just mentally, really, just not seen a deer over 10 days. It's fucking crazy. Cover the uh, ground we covered, but uh, that's all good. Back to the drawing board. And uh, yeah, that was about all she wrote, so good. 